Hi right, guys, so we've got our isometric grass paper and we're going to look at drawing a piece of furniture. Now you can draw whatever piece you want and it doesn't necessarily have to be your project yet because it might be a little complicated. But we're just going to do, do a little bit of practice and um, post it on our chat. Okay, so we've got our blank graph paper one we got off compass. All right, and remember we're going to open it with paint. <clears throat> All right, so I'm zoomed in, but I'm going to leave it zoomed in just for the moment. Now, if I start at the top point and leave it over this side a bit further, I shouldn't run out of space. Now, when we're drawing a piece of furniture, if you have a look at a piece of furniture, the first thing you're probably going to see is the top. When you're looking down on it, you're going to see the top. Now, if we draw something underneath it first, it's going to make it really difficult for us to draw on top of it. So we're going to start off with the thing that sticks out the most, and that's going to be the top. Okay, so we'll get our line tool. I've got color black. I've got size just in the middle one there, which is fine. We'll start somewhere just over here. Now, if I was to draw, I don't know, I'll draw a TV unit. Okay, so we'll start off with our top. All right, actually, maybe I'll make it much longer than that. All right, now you can make it bigger than what your screen is because remember we can zoom in and out. Okay, so we'll do that. I'll make it just uh, just that deep there. All right now, scroll down a little bit. Now what I want to do when I'm doing this one, when I'm doing this line here, I want to make sure it lines up with that one. Okay, so if I follow that line down until this one's straight, all out there. If you get it wrong, you can always grab it, move it around. Those little white dots, put it back again, and remember we'll click off of it, and then we can go back on it again and draw our next line. All right, now we want to make it 3D, remember, so we use the straight up ones just like that. We'll make sure they're all the same. We need one there, we won't need one there because that's going to be our top. Okay, we'll need one just there. And we'll join these up and we've got ourselves a 3d top okay now the next thing we need we need some legs so we're gonna look at how big we want it now we go I'll put my legs right on the outside there same as the top but you don't have to All right we'll do our legs just down like that and I want them to be nice and thick okay so I'll make them like that and I'm just gonna do the face for now just the front and I will show you why okay so how many how many squares have we got here we've got ten, nine okay so we'll go down nine and if you're not sure what you want to be doing is you just want to look at where you've ended it trace up the line and it should line up with that one okay if it doesn't grab that and move it up one or down one whatever you need to do okay so we've got that one there we're gonna go the same as that one is on that side Okay, and this is our front of our unit, remember? So it's the front of our unit. There we go. Now I want to put uh, I want to put a little rail under there to support the top. Now you want to be sticking to your lines, but if it's set back a little bit, so I'm going to have this one set back a little bit further, so you'll only see it a little bit. Okay, you can go like that. As long as you're following the same sort of lines as what your grid is, that's fine. Okay, if you're not sure, just stick to the lines. Right, so I've got a little rail that's set back in there a little bit, and then I want to put a little shelf on here. Okay, so I'm going to go on the lines, put my shelf between there, like that. And then we'll look at how thick we want the shelf to be. I'll make it the same thickness as what the top is. Alright, so I'll just do that. And we want to make our shelf 3D. So when we make it 3D, we're going to follow the lines backwards like that on our 30 degree angle. And we're going to stop when we hit that because we won't be able to see through the top. Okay, so it will go back here somewhere, but we won't be able to see it. All right, because it's in three dimensional. Now, maybe I want to put a little divider here just in the middle, okay, because I might want my DVD player on one side and my PlayStation on the other. All right, so I'll just find roughly the middle. Put a little line up. 
how thick we want that front piece to be. We'll do the same as the shelf, the same as the top. Okay, so we'll just say that's 19 mil pine like we have at school. And same thing, we wanna make sure that's 3D. Okay, so now we have ourselves a little 3D divider there. Nice 3D shelf. Legs still aren't 3D yet. Okay, now we have a couple options here. I can either go one and two. Okay, and make our leg, our leg there 3D. And we just have like a, almost a coffee table. Okay, but if your design's a little bit more complicated, now I'm just gonna hit that back button that we looked at. So back and back. If your table is a little bit more complicated, perhaps you have some drawers under here. Okay, so what we'll do is they're gonna go all the way across there. Okay, and I've got two drawer fronts right down the middle of that one there. Okay, now there's no dotted line, but I'm keeping to the same rules okay so the same rules that line there is on the same angle as that one as our dotted line the same as all our straight ones are all straight up every single one of them even that one there even though it's not on a line okay and if you're not sure about that just stick to the lines okay so what i have here is i have two fronts okay two draw fronts i can put a little handle on each one Okay, now this is where we get into um, explaining your drawing a little bit. All right, I might write in my paragraph on my PowerPoint that there are two drawers at the bottom. Okay, so it's not easily noticeable. But the other thing we can do when we finish this picture is we can erase all those little lines and color it in with the paint bucket. Now, our leg over here is still one dimensional. Okay, so we're going to make that two, two dimensional. So uh, sorry, it's, it's two dimensional. We're going to make it three dimensional. Okay, so we're going to go our back one there. And this one here, I think the leg's only going to be about that thick. Okay, so we'll just do a little one there. Now that there is either going to be see through or we're going to fill it in on the sides. Okay, and I'll show you that over here. So if we're going to fill it in, when you paint it, make sure you paint that one in the same color as you paint that leg and the top and everything else. Okay, and I will show you how to do that. So we'll move over here, we're gonna do a back leg. Okay, we're gonna do the same length as what this one is. So we'll follow that line up and we've got the same length. Okay, we'll click off of it. We're gonna make it the same width as well. All right, we're sticking to our little dotted lines to keep make sure it's 3D. Okay. And I think we'll see the whole side of this leg. So we'll go ahead and draw that one. All right, so we've got our 3D leg on the side there. Now what we're going to do, so this drawer is going to be sitting in here, in here somewhere, okay? So we're going to have to have something there. All right, so I reckon it's going to be about the same as what the front is. So we'll make sure we've got a side there, lining up with the front. Okay, so we've got a side there, and that's where our drawer is going to sit. All right, now we have a shelf. See how it stops short of the side there? This one seems to as well. Oh, we've made a mistake here. Okay, so the problem we're going to have, this drawer here ends at the front, the, so, the inside of that leg, which means it's going to end at the inside of this leg. As you can see, I've done it to the front. So what I'll do is I'll back back. That leg's going to be 3D also, isn't it? Okay, so we'll just do it to the top for now. And our drawer's going to sit... I reckon to the middle of that leg. Okay, so we need to connect it to something. So we're gonna have a piece of timber connecting into the middle of that leg. If you're not sure about this, don't include drawers, okay? All right, and then we've got our shelf here. All right, so just for now, I'll draw that one there as well. All right, and then we're gonna fill the side in. All right, so we'll put another one all the way up to the top. All right, and I'll just make that nice and straight along that edge. Now, what we can do, because we don't want to look like that on our project, what we can do once we've built it like this, is then we can we can um, make sure we have a panel over it. All right, so that'll fill in this shelf, so you won't have it open like the front does, and it'll also make it so we won't see the side of that timber there for our shelf, and we won't see the side of that. All right, so we'll put another piece on top of it, 
All right, so what you can do is we can just go ahead and draw where it'll go. I reckon it'll go there. And all this inside bit, we'll get our magnifying glass. Right, and remember, we can get rid of our lines. And we will get rid of all that inside bit. And what I'll do is I might just pause the video and I'll do that. Now, as you can see, I've erased all of that, the lines in there, and we're a little bit rough on the edges here. So what I can do is I can just grab my tool, grab my line tool, and I'll just, if I just go over top of those lines, I can just fix them up a little bit. All right, that one there's a little bit, a little bit thin just there, so I'll just go on top of it. All right, this one here's a little bit wonky. So let's go on top of that one as well. Just like that. Now, what we can do, if I get my magnifying glass and zoom out, is we can see that we actually have look like we have a piece of furniture. Now, if you do that, what I've done to this little square over here, to just your project, don't worry about outside of it, do it to just your project, in all of it, and neaten it all up, You'll have yourself a 3D project, okay? Now what we can then do with that is we can go to our colors, all right, go to our paint bucket, pick our color, and we can put it in the color that we're probably gonna end up with. Okay, now you can go to further colors, so if we go to edit colors, all right, you can pick something that's a little bit nicer than, than that kind of brown. So you might want a dark brown, all right? You might want a, a lighter timber color. Right, you might want it to be a little bit more yellowy. You can move this one around here. We can pick a color that we think, add to custom colors, okay? And that'll turn up down the bottom here. All right, we can select off of it, select on it. I can say that that doesn't quite look like timber, so we can keep playing around with it. Um, now, if you, if you wanted black, if you were planning on, on painting it later, I suggest don't do that. Because what will happen is, you won't be able to see your lines, and if I then go paint it again, it'll paint the whole thing. Okay, so what I would do, I'll just go back and back before I've done that. What I would do is I would pick a completely different color, so perhaps go with, don't use pink, but I'll just go pink for the moment. Okay, and if I, can, if I can't hit the line, I'll just zoom in. Okay, what I would do is these lines here, paint them a different color. Maybe we won't go pink, maybe we'll go, we'll go something we can see, just so I can show you. We'll go red, okay, and then we can paint our project in black. All right, we can, you know, do that everywhere once we've gotten rid of all these little little grid lines. Uh, get a magnifying glass and go out. We can paint our project uh, in black so you can show what you're trying to do, and you've got those lines will still show up, okay? All right, and then as always, remember we don't need all of this grid space, so we're just going to go ahead, get our select tool, this one here, and we'll select the area that we want. All right, now there's no scroll there, there's a scroll there. Scroll up, make sure we're in the top corner. All right, we're in the top corner just there. Get our magnifying glass, right click, so we can go all the way out. We know we're in the top corner, okay, if you're not, select it again. Right, move it to where you need it. Make sure we're up, up there. So we've got only what we need in there. Move that guy down. All right, once it's all colored in, you've got yourself your picture to put on PowerPoint, okay? For our isometric drawing. And if I just click back on there. All right, so this is just gonna give us a, our first representation of what we're going to be, what we're going to be trying to build. All right, and we'll, we'll take you a little while, um, but I want to see it all, all, the, all these lines getting rid of and, and colored in. And if you're really good, it actually won't take too much longer. If you're really good, you can get rid of all these outside bits and get a different color and do what I've done and, and put a little background on there. Okay, or you can even leave the grid on there if you really want to and just fill it all in, just make it look a bit better than the white, okay, because we're just trying to make this presentable. All right, 